So for episode 16 I've decided to attack the retainee here, completing my domination of the western hemisphere of Gaul. And I've taken one, two turns since the last episode. I've begun raising an army here. I've got some heavy legionaries there and some archers. I, ra I raised them there because I plan to use them in this battle. So, um, first, I will try and destroy their leader, as always. See how that goes. Conceal blade is the highest chance of success. And lucky, I'm going to declare war. Greetings. Now speak plainly, for we oh, are an no. honest folk and value honest in others. Dear, I'm breaking even more treaties. Whatever, we don't have time for this. I'll bring my new supporting army up, and hopefully I'll have enough movement range left to put them back in that province and continue recruiting after this battle's over. And good old Mark Antony he's going to be my support Is that all? here and of course Caesar is going to lead the battle. Ooh. The computer tells us we have an equal chance of success. I like those odds. Shouldn't be a problem. I'm going to pull this supporting army up to the lead support because I want those archers on the field. It may not pay attention because it hasn't in the past, but we'll see. The more archers, the better. Although, I may take that back. We're not actually. Oh, they've sallied forth. Ah, oh, that changes things. I'll need a more mobile force. Yes, that changes things quite a lot. Uh, and this here on the right is terrible. Look what I'm looking at. We're going to have reinforcements right next to their army. Hmm. I do hope Mark Antony is the one coming from behind. So, some units of reinforcements are going to come from the right here. If the game has any kind of accuracy to where you position your armies on the campaign map, that has to be that new army. And Mark Antony has to be coming from the, the back here on the um, on the left. And given that that's the case, and there's this enormous hill here, I'm going to use that as much as possible to my advantage. So I'm going to use yeah, I'm going to position on this hill. Bit of an awkward thing to position on. But let's make the most of it. So, my giant blister on the very top of the ridge in the trees. Keep my cavalry just out of the way to one side for the moment. Archers hidden behind the hill. Um, I think I'll put my. Spearmen here is a sort of defensive wall. Legionaries, I'm just going to pop there, and that's it for the moment. I'm going to wait for my reinforcements to arrive and just see what they do first. Ah, and make sure that my reinforcements down here don't get in trouble. I may be able to distract them. They're turning around. I'm just going to pull them all off. Please don't be Mark Antony's force. No, it's not. It's just. Yeah, that's the reinforcing army. Alright, I'm going to pull them all off. And they're not going to play any part in this battle at all. Just Mark Antony and me. And the good thing is that that means that the rest of my. Reinforcements from Mark Antony 
Here we go. Just keep my archers on the top of that hill. Keeping them a little, a little peppering as they come in. So I'm recording this right after the last one. Not sure what <laughs> significance that adds, but um, if there's a bit less talk of me wondering what's going on, that's because I've come straight from that last set of battles. And as always, I'll apologize in advance if I stop the commentary momentarily because I'm trying to figure out what's going on. But these kind of battles can get quite messy and I need to concentrate, so let's get one of those. And what did someone say about these savage dogs? Particularly good against, what was it, cavalry? Ooh, oh dear. Got reinforcements coming from the side there. Particularly good against cavalry and archers and things, I think. I think that was it. They've left their skirmishers open, so I'm going to charge them. See if I don't get lucky. But really, I'm just trying to get my army in one piece and it's a bit spread out for my liking really I'm also going to pull these archers oh dear shit pull these archers back while I still have a chance pull my cavalry back before they get overwhelmed I'll keep moving start getting these units here ready for the onslaught. Put them in defensive testudo for the moment. So it looks like I'm going to be straight up attacked. I'm trying to pull my units back while I can. Shit, you're not moving fast enough. Far too wide a line, I don't like it. Do not like this at all. I'm, as you can see, I'm having to play this battle almost upside down. And their attack is very much weighted to the left, whereas mine was weighted to the right. So I'm beginning to bring spin around. Now to counter this, I'm trying to use my... oh shit, what's that? Oh dear, I have to unit sitting in the open there. Have them move up to uh, make sure my artillery doesn't get damaged. I pull Mark Anthony off, because I don't know where he is. All I'm trying to do at the moment is just hold their line. Make sure I don't get in too much trouble. One of these units has been damaged, so I'll pull them off. First, I'll get them away from the spears. So, again, all I'm trying to do is hold their line. Send one unit of legionaries up to support that unit, which is having to do a one-on-one -on -one fight there, maybe a one-on-two. -on -two. I never like fighting fair, unless I have to. Make sure I pull these cavalry off in the back. Ah, one of my units got caught by... Uh, not good. Yeah, got a very damaged unit there. Ah, and they're stuck in the middle of other... Uh, I'm going to have trouble pulling them out. Alright, get off. Off the 
field. Right, and these cavalry. Uh, I'm going to ignore no skirmishes and I'm going to head to support unit at the back here which I need to protect that flank no matter what. And side, ok they're beginning to run and even though it was an incredible god get that unit out and I'm going to make it shit Nah, I lost them. Um, I'm just trying to maintain a defence. It's a very messy defence, but it's a defence. This unit's gone. So, I'll try and withdraw them, maybe pointless, but whatever. Pull that unit of lead cavalry back. I just want you to break, just break. I have to break that unit before I move on. I'm shaken, wavering, come on break. So as soon as they break, as soon as they're shattered, okay. Oops. I can move my cavalry out and have the legionaries do the work here. Ultimately, you only want legionaries doing heavy melee fighting with other infantry. And I get my cavalry free again to start doing what they should do flanking and things like that. All I'm doing now is making sure I have defensive testudos. That too heavily damaged to pull this unit out. We've only got 41 left. All I'm trying to do is manage my losses, maintain a defensive line. Make sure I don't get caught out. And they'll start bringing reinforcements up, but in the meantime, because their reinforcements will be a ragged line, and they're beginning to break anyway. I'll have time to recruit, so don't need to worry about that, okay. Okay, one on that flank, have I yet? Yeah. So I'll bring that unit back up to join the action. Excellent, my cavalry are coming in. Get to deal with their skirmishes. And now I be begin to take control again of this battle. Couple of units, it's like a bit of a pounding here. So, it's definitely something in that tactic of just rushing. It doesn't give you time to form an effective defence. Unless you can start the battle that way. Where my cavalry go? Get them back up to hit the uh, archers here. Ah! Bugger. It's the, oh shit. Okay. So I've just noticed their reinforcements are coming from my weak side here. Which is not ideal. I have to very quickly form up. Ah. Get into Studer quickly. Getting my artillery out, moving my others over, so then I don't need to worry about them anymore. These units here were retreating, I'm going to have them continue retreating, just not the way they were going. Get my cavalry out so they're safe at least, and then I need to bring just the best of my units, wherever they are, up to form a very quick makeshift shift defence. As 
I reorganise my line, deal with their reinforcements. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm always looking for units which uh, have at least 80 in them, and I'm trying to move my spear units so they take the brunt of the attack. My heavy legionaries are ready behind to provide an attack. Counter attack. So there we go, we've got some spearmen up front there, not enough, so I'm going to plug those gaps. We have some more, going to plug those gaps. Cavalry going to bring them round to hit these Celtic youths in the back. Okay. Artillery have deployed, so they're beginning to attack. I seem to have some other artillery. Ah. Let's have them engage as well. Still checking out my army unit by unit here. Pulling out any which are below 80. Below 80, they can go. Below 80. Yeah, below 80. Right, here we go. We'll stop those artillery from firing. And redirect onto the Levy Freeman there. This Celtic view should break very soon, especially when I send in heavy legionaries to finish the job. Cavalry out of harm's way, stop the artillery. Stop now. And I don't think that's the end of their reinforcements, or is it? I hope so. Looks like pretty much. I'm at the end of my sort of comfortable reserves. Savage dogs. I always forget to use them. Archers have mostly run out of ammo. Not completely, so. Ah, let's just watch some action. Too bad. They lost 4,300 to my 1,000. I don't think I should have lost any units. Yeah, they're done. Oh, I lost one. But just the one. Not too bad. An occupy. Which should complete my control of the province, which means I can issue an edict. And I've also destroyed their faction. There we go. Let me have a look. Yes, I can. I can issue an edict. Go for bread and games to begin with to help with public order and food production. While I convert their province. And I'm going to go for ones that have. There we go. Plus six Latin cultural influence. I need to. As you can see, they're not Latinized enough. And then I'm going to go for food production. So I'm going to destroy that one. And that's it. That's it for this turn. Let's see how we're looking. A bit tighter. So next, we have that Greco settlement here. Which will be the battle of the century, and yeah, then we can start to rethink what we do next. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.